Hi, my name is uh, Lorenzo Dinar. I'm 34 years old. Um, I started DJing when I was 20 years old. Um, I'm momentarily also uh, finishing my thesis. I hope to do this uh, very soon. And uh, yeah, working together with uh, this guy next to me who's been beating my ass at chest last week. Uh, yeah, I am Samuel. Uh, I'm 28. I got interested in electronic music for, I think, six or seven years ago. Uh, since a year or two, uh, I started to trying parties, and uh, now we're even starting a label with uh, this guy over here and uh, Sabina, who's not in the shot right now. But yeah. Well, I think because low fidelity is all about the music aspect of, of the parties. Uh, I mean, you can hear it in the name. And um, yeah, I think this, this idea was, was already, you know, was already there. I mean, we already wanted this. But uh, now since Corona came and we didn't really have all this time and effort to put into a party. So, yeah, we had a lot more time on our hands and we just f thought, fuck it, and we did it, yeah. The kind of music you can expect from Low Fidelity is, um, yeah, if it has this lo-fi element to it, and we like it uh, uh, to to release it, yeah, then then we will release it. But you can expect a lot of different genres like house or maybe even uh, punk, because punk, uh, the genre punk is, uh, in my sense, a lo-fi genre by definition. So. Yeah, and that's we want to touch the the, the widest realm of lo-fi music. We already have like a hip hop beat on the first uh, release. I think uh, anything that fits the lo-fi spectrum, that could be anything from uh, I don't know vaporwave, uh, hip hop. I mean, w we're party focused, so there clearly will be a lot of electronic music. But this, uh, but yeah, we will just release what we think fits with the label and what uh, what sounds good. Well, so our first release is from uh, Ground 16. He's an artist from uh, Switzerland, Veve, where he lives. Yeah, I got in contact with David through uh, Instagram, actually. I, uh, I came across his music in 2019. I, I bought his EP on uh, Juicy Tracks, Eastern Grain EP, I think. Um, I bought it through Bandcamp, and uh, yeah, I really liked uh, one of the, s a few of the tracks from the EP. I played them several times and uh, one time I played the track Eastern Grain uh, at Operator Radio and I wanted to uh, share a bit of that, of that set because I was dancing uh, in the, in, during the set on that track of, uh, of David, of Ground 16. And it really gives me this, uh, you know, the check your body feeling that you want to move on it. So this, I made a moment out of it, shared it on Instagram and then I uh, tagged David looked him up uh, by his artist name, Ground16, and that's how we got in touch. Uh, we started DMing each other and talk about music, and then somewhere in March during the first lock lockdown, I, uh, I approached him uh, and asked him, like, you want to release uh, on our label? We're starting a label, and yeah, now we're here. So yeah, my name is David. Uh, I live in, v I mean, close to Vevey in Switzerland. I've been producing for quite some time right now, maybe 10 years or something. Um, I'm also DJing. Uh, I have a radio show for now almost one year in Lausanne, a radio called uh, Luz Antenna. It's quite nice. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing some different mixes uh, online. Uh, hopefully clubbing uh, sometime soon, anytime soon. And otherwise, I released uh, some records on uh, JC Tracks, New Violence, 
uh, Sneaky Music, Gestalt Records. The Grand 16 project began in 2015, I think. Uh, I don't really see it as a project, but just as, as a natural way of expressing myself, of uh, exploring my love for music, kind of. Four tracks of me are quite true to myself, I would say. Uh, Absolutely is the melancholic deep track uh, with a non 4 4 beat. Uh, yeah, Tourmont Passionnel is also non 4 4 beat. It's quite it's, I mean, it's the banging, banging track of the EP, uh, ele old, old school electric uh, track. I also used some uh, vocal snippets from an interview of Roland Barthes, who is a French thinker I like. And yeah, it, it makes it a bit funny. Air is really the chill track. Um, you can really hear my hip hop in, uh, influences in it. Uh, it's yeah, with flying lo fi uh, deep pads. And this is not a club music track, but yeah, more for chilling. And the last one uh, is Image Femelle, which yeah use the same words as Tout Monde Passionnel and is the classic, I would say, house-ish, uh, lo-fi-ish lo track. Marc Braque played at uh, our second party in 2019. And uh, at the start of when we started uh, the label, I approached him as well if he was interested in releasing uh, to uh, Low Fidelity. And uh, he came in with some very uh, good tips to start it up. And he also uh, offered like, yeah, if you got something uh, dope coming, uh, I could maybe do a remix for it. And yeah, I thought like uh, Ground 16, I thought they would have a fitting like uh, sound. So I asked uh, Nachtbrake, and he, he replied, like, uh, send me the records and then uh, I can decide if I want to do the remix. And uh, yeah, well, now we have a good trippy, uh, trippy liquid mix. Yeah, it's, it's pretty <laughs> dope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thought behind the artwork, uh, it's like if you, like you can see it has this uh, arcade vibe to it. It's like a computer game, and this is also the the, the style of low fidelity. So we want to bring this like 80s, 90s video game uh, world. We want to bring this to life, and this is also like we made a uh, digital presentation of uh, of Ground 16, who's uh, invading Rotterdam. It's uh, taken a lot of work. Um, I've been uh, working with uh, Almost Mother for the artwork and um, yeah it's like took almost like three months I think to get it like how we wanted with the first sketches, uh, the first design for the, the cover for the, for the vinyl um, and then we got more ideas like uh, yeah maybe we can try to make a simple video out of it like uh, with a simple loop. Um, and yeah, we just kept going on, uh, etc. We also made a whole like uh, campaign out of it for the pr promo promo press uh, release. So it's it's also uh, entwined with the the artwork. So yeah, it came out really nice, I think. Yeah, in the future we plan to have uh, more releases. In the future, of course, we hope to be you know throwing parties again and. Uh, 
yeah seeing other people again on the dance floor and yeah yeah I just I, I would like to add on like uh, we, we we want to we want to keep challenge 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 ourselves to to create new things uh, focus more on releasing new music with with new artists uh, and always be on the lookout for the hot hot stuff and uh, also on the side of doing parties hopefully in the future uh, we started out with the club night club night called low fidelity but we also have plans to do other concepts uh, maybe small small kind of like festival in the future uh, concepts for other club nights so he's got something cooking up so uh, yeah yeah we, we always try to keep uh, optimistic about the future so uh, even with the corona going on right now yeah. which can be quite hard sometimes